Next, America's family-friendly Hallmark TV channel has found itself between a rock and a hard place. It's after the company division which operates the network apologized for pulling a commercial featuring a same-sex couple and promised to create more inclusive content. The Crown Media team has been agonizing over this decision as we've seen the hurt it has unintentionally caused. Our mission is rooted in helping all people connect, celebrate traditions, and be inspired to capture meaningful moments in their lives. We are truly sorry for the hurt and disappointment this has caused. Well, that apology came after the channel pulled an ad for a wedding planning website that featured a gay couple getting married, sparking complaints. Do you think Zola could have made planning your perfect wedding easier? We do. No, I do. <laughs> We've helped a million couples plan their weddings, registry, and invitations. Get started for free at Zola.com. The advert spurred a petition by a conservative organization called One Million Moms. It called on Hallmark to not show any LGBT-friendly content on the channel, claiming it went against the values of its target audience. However, the removal caused a backlash on social media, and channel executives changed their minds. Kevin Owen spoke to human rights activist Peter Tatchell and media commentator Gina Luden about the row. This was just a handful that sought to include uh, women who love each other, and that is a fact of life. And, you know, Christmas is all about love and coming together. You know, I can't understand what the fuss is about. You know, if I saw a card or an advert or anything with a man and a woman kissing, I would think, beautiful, wonderful, I love it. They were viewers, they were watching it. They were thinking, hey, you know, if I'm going to talk to my children about sexual orientation, I'd like to have that conversation with them one-on-one. -on -one. I don't really want it to come in the form of a Christmas commercial. Um, and that, to some people, is, is understandable. Um, it doesn't mean that they were necessarily bigoted or that this was in any way anti-gay. It might just be that they wanted to be the ones to have that conversation with their five-year-old. Is there a, any reason why a channel which describes itself as family-friendly, I mean, it shows festive shows this time, a year it wants you children families to gather around the TV eat their popcorn and watch is there a reason if they're describing it themselves as that they should take a bit more care not to offend people that may be offended though most young kids get it <laughs> when they see two people in love young kids don't think you know man woman boy girl they think of love and these adverts were about love not about sex about love and I would have thought in a modern mature democracy we ought to be able to celebrate love in its many forms. Is this the time of year where we want to be making political statements um, during, you know, it is a, a, the holiday season where we sitting around the fire with our families, um, you know, having, having a good time and maybe not thinking so much about LGBT or even uh, abortion or other things that might be more uh, of a political statement. Hallmarks apologize for pulling the ad. Did they need to apologize? I think they did, yes, because it's quite offensive to say that, you know, an image of two women in love is somehow not fit and proper for a broadcast channel in this day and age. Um, by pulling the ad, that was a deep insult and an re effective rejection of the many same-sex couples who do love each other and who love each other just as much as any husband and wife. You get pushback that is from a political action group, be it conservative or liberal. What you're really getting is a falsely inflated uh, political pushback um, from people that aren't necessarily your viewers. When you hear the pushback initially from the viewers saying, um, you know, hey, we are, we are moms, we are watching your network, and we don't want this on there, um, my guess is that the majority of that was probably organic.